one month you might make a few hundred dollars, but it's really about those watch hours. Next month you might make a thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the following month you might make eight hundred dollars. Do your research. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, tap that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content coming up. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today is Small Talk Saturdays. During Small Talk Saturdays, we talk about different things that are important to us on this channel. And as some of you know, I've been discussing all things YouTube and a little bit of Instagram during the months of June, July, and now during the month of August. If you haven't seen any of those YouTube related videos yet, I highly suggest you check them out after this video. I have discussed how to start a YouTube channel, how to grow organically on Instagram, how to increase your engagement on YouTube and on Instagram. I've also discussed some of my mistakes that I've made as a content creator. Check out those videos. I drop loads of gems and I've been receiving a lot of great feedback from you all. So to those who have been watching, thank you so, so much. So you all see the title. Today we're gonna talk about Google AdSense and how I have made over $1,500 thus far by using Google AdSense. So during this video, we will discuss what Google AdSense is, how exactly you get monetized, some key terms you need to know in terms of monetization. We're also gonna discuss where to find your revenue in your analytics, and we'll discuss how much I've made. So if you're ready to learn how I made over $1,500 on Google AdSense thus far, keep on watching. So what is Google AdSense? Google AdSense is an advertising program that allows you to get paid for posting content on your website, on your blog, and for your YouTube videos. This is how it works. Different clients, different companies pay to advertise through Google AdSense, and then you, as the host of these ads, get a portion of that revenue. Specifically on YouTube, your channel has to be monetized in order to make money on Google AdSense. So how do you get monetized? On YouTube, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And I actually heard a rumor about the qualifications changing. Did any of y'all hear that rumor? Comment down below and let me know because I heard some crazy rumor like they're gonna increase it to 10,000 watch hours. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's already hard enough to get the 4,000. In my situation, it took me nine months to get monetized on YouTube and that in itself felt like a long time. And for others, it might take years. It just really all depends on so many different factors. But it's really about those watch hours, getting people to watch your content enough in order to be recognized as a YouTube partner. And I definitely have videos that discuss how to increase your engagement so that more people are watching. Definitely check those videos out. They'll be linked in the description box down below. I specifically talk about it in my How to Start a YouTube Channel video. And I also mention it in my video about the top 10 mistakes I've made. So check out those videos. If you wanna know how to set up your AdSense account, please research on YouTube. There are tons of videos on how to do it. It's very simple, but it is something that you need to set up right away. You don't have to wait to be monetized in order to set up your AdSense account. I suggest setting it up beforehand so that way it's just one less thing to worry about once you get monetized. But yes, 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers, that is how you get monetized. And once you do, you can start getting paid on Google AdSense. Now, there are some things that determine how much you actually make on Google AdSense, right? And that is your CPM and your RPM. CPM stands for cost per mil, which is cost per 1,000 views. And it's really how much the advertisers are paying for ads on your channel within your specific niche. RPM is something that's been recently introduced and RPM actually tells you your revenue per mil, your revenue per 1,000 views. In the past, CPM told you what the advertisers paid, but it didn't necessarily tell you how much you would actually take home. So having the RPM feature now is cool because you can just see how much am I, the creator, actually making per 1,000 views. I'm gonna go into my analytics here and show you where to find that. So you're gonna go into your YouTube studio here, right? And you're going to click over on analytics and over here you click the revenue tab and it tells you my esti revenue for the estimated revenue for the month and it tells you my RPM and my playback based CPM and if you just tap over you can see a definition here for each one and for RPM as well so right now my CPM is nine dollars and fourteen cents which means this is how much advertisers are paying per 1,000 views for my particular content. 
And the $4.48 is how much I am actually taking home per thousand views for my content. Now here's one thing a lot of newer YouTubers don't realize. Everyone's CPM and RPM is different. Even within your own channel, I have videos that have higher RPMs than others, and it's really all based on your niche and your click-through rate. There are niches that garner a higher CPM and RPM, and on the Google AdSense website, there is a place for you to actually play around and see what that is. So this is the website. It's google.com slash AdSense slash start, and you can scroll down here. And it literally says, see how much you can make and earn from AdSense, right? So you can play around with this a little bit. You can select your region, which I'm in North America, and select a category. So let's say for beauty and fitness, and you select calculate. It says for 50,000 monthly page views, your potential revenue could be 6,042, right? However, if you, you can scroll and increase the views, so if you have around 500,000 monthly views, your potential annual revenue definitely goes up tremendously, right? 61,000, that's someone's salary. Let's scroll back down here, that's for beauty. However, like I said, different niches have higher earning potential. So if I try finance, for example, for 50,000 page views a month, they're talking $18,000 annually. These are just projections, but based on these numbers alone, you can tell which niches earn more money. I definitely recommend you play around with this on your own time just to get an idea, especially if you are new to YouTube and new to Google AdSense. It kind of gives you an idea of how much earning potential you can make. But of course, content creators are multifaceted and they have several streams of income. So Google AdSense is not the only way people make money. People make money from affiliate marketing. They also make money from sponsorships. And they also make money from paid electronic products. So that's another video for another day. We're specifically talking about AdSense and this is just to give you an idea of how much you can possibly make. So I'm just gonna go to one of my videos and show you the difference in CPM and RPM and why I think there's a difference. For this video here, when I click the analytics and I go to my revenue tab, I have a playback CPM of $8.38, so that's how much the advertisers pay per thousand views for this particular video, and you see that I'm taking home $4.77 per thousand views. However, when I tab over to one of my other videos, you see that the CPM is higher, it's $12.59. And then when I checked, checked another video, a video that I posted last week that was popular, the CPM was even higher, $14.01. Based on my research, your CPM increases based on how popular your video is, your click-through rate, for example. If a lot of people are clicking on your video due to your thumbnail and your titles, you are likely to have a higher CPM. However, when comparing two videos, you can have a higher CPM. That doesn't always mean you're gonna have a higher RPM. So even with, between these two videos here, this video, I think it's like at 3,000 something views. My take home is 751 with that $14. But for this video, which was like a video that I post on Tuesdays, the CPM was lower. However, I took home two cents more in my revenue per mil. I'm not sure why that is, and RPM is still a new concept to me, but just know that this can happen. So now I'm gonna tell you where to find your revenue in your analytics, and I will show you how I've made over $1,500. So we're back here, and we are going to the dashboard, and we're going to my analytics here, and we're going to click the revenue tab, and if you scroll down, there's a section that says monthly estimated revenue. And this estimate shows you the last six months. But if you click see more, you can see the entire time. And it has a graph here where it shows you. So I normally look over here. I was monetized in October and you can see how much I made for that month. And I was monetized like halfway through the month. So this is what my results were for half the month. And then you can see literally how much I've made each month. So November, December, and in December, I was posting a lot because I did have a holiday series where I was posting every day for like 12 days. So I know that definitely impacted how much money I made that month. 
January was a, definitely a slower month and February started to pick up. And then you can see in April and May, I made over $200 in Google AdSense. So seeing all this, after being monetized for about 10 months now, I have made over $1,800. And you can see it right here at the top. It shows you your estimated revenue total, $1,869 for me. So this has been over the span over 10 months. No, I did not receive a lump sum of $1,500 or $1,800, no. Every month, I receive a deposit, normally around the $200 mark, into my account. And also the way Google AdSense works, you are paid for the month prior. So right now, you see that July, I made $174.20. I will receive my July payment on August 21st. That's just the way the AdSense program works. As far as tips for increasing your earning potential on AdSense, I think in general, the more that you post, the more likely you are to earn money. But of course, you have to do what's reasonable for you. I post three times a week. Most of my videos, the length varies. It can be anywhere from eight minutes to 15 minutes. Small Talk Saturday videos are normally longer than that. So it just depends. And if I have a video that is popular, I am more likely to have a higher CPM. But also keep in mind that it depends on your needs as well because if I'm doing a video on hair and beauty it's more likely to have a, a lower CPM versus if I was talking about insurance you know what I'm saying or if I was talking about something in tech or if I was talking about finance videos on finance typically garners the highest CPM on YouTube from what I've researched again check out that Google AdSense calculator I will link it down below so that way you can play around with it a little bit just to see what the earning potential is overall Google AdSense is a nice way to to receive income on YouTube, on your blog, on your website. However, I do not think it should be your sole method of income if you want to be a full-time influencer or full-time entrepreneur because of the fluctuation. One month you might make a few hundred dollars, next month you might make a thousand dollars, the following month you might make eight hundred dollars. You see what I'm saying? Typically, if you want to do YouTube full-time or if you want to be a blogger full-time, you need another stream of income in order to supplement that. So let me know how you feel about this video. I really hope seeing my revenue helped you in some type of way. Some people are unaware of where to find the revenue tab, so I hope that was helpful. Normally, my goal right now for Google AdSense is to at least pull in $200 a month with my current views. But YouTube is fickle. Anything can change in a matter of an instant. I can post a video tomorrow that blows up gets 500k and all of a sudden my google adsense revenue shoots up to the sky you see what i'm saying so it really all depends i highly encourage you to do your research there are people who talk about how much they make on google adsense i definitely recommend the youtuber katherine manning she does an income report every month for her channel and she has grown exponentially i started watching her maybe when she was around fifty thousand subscribers and now she's at like over 200,000. I saw her numbers and how they shot up and how that affected her AdSense and it was just good research for me. So please check out her channel if you want to know more detailed information about AdSense and about the monetization process. And of course, if you're new here, tap the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up. If you like Small Talk Saturdays, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you want to see some of my latest videos from this series, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.